Lewis Hamilton arrived back at his hotel with online model Janet Guzman following the Met Gala after party in New York City on Tuesday morning, despite being in an apparent near-fatal car crash at the F1 days earlier. The Formula One driver, 36, was seen heading to his hotel with his bodyguard in tow before Guzman, 27, then made her way inside, despite cheating death in a traumatic crash at the Monza Grand Prix on Sunday. The raven-haired model and influencer currently boasts one. 9 million Instagram followers, while also managing an account with subscription service only fans. Lewis has meanwhile come under fire, accused of faking his injuries for show, heading to the Met Gala 24 hours after the incident before being spotted with Janet. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has accused Lewis and his Mercedes team of faking the injuries he sustained from last week's Italian Grand Prix crash with Max Verstappen. Hamilton and Verstappen were involved in a serious accident that saw Red Bull's car flip up and land on the Brit's head at the Variante del Redifilo in Monza. As a result, Hamilton was taken to hospital for precautionary checks. Yet hours later he was in NYC for the swanky Met event, later joining his rumored fling. Born in Los Angeles, Guzman has modeled for affordable online clothing brand Fashion Nova while developing an online following across social media. She has since set her sights on OnlyFans, where paying subscribers can gain exclusive access to photos and videos unavailable on other platforms. Lewis had worn a black suit for the Met Gala before he changed into a navy jacket with L emblazoned on the back for its ensuing after-party. He also sported a pair of bright yellow tracksuit bottoms and black shoes and appeared to arrive at the bash with another woman. Guzman, who joined him in the hotel, donned a black sheer garment that highlighted her incredible figure. Adding height to her frame with a pair of black heels, her locks were styled into an updo for the evening. Earlier that evening Lewis sported a lace net skirt over his suit as he joined the biggest stars in show business at the gala. The sports star looked suave in a slick black suit with shiny black loafers and put a very modern twist on the classic look as he paired black blazer and trousers with a see-through mesh shirt and netted veil skirt. Proving no detail was missed, he paired the look with small crucifix earrings, a diamond chain and two diamond bracelets. Other sporting stars joining him on the red carpet included American track and field sprinter Shaw Kerry Richardson and Olympic fencer Miles Chamley Watson. The outing comes after the F1 star recently sparked speculation he was growing close to stunning model Camilla Kindra, 27, as she posted snaps wearing his shirt in his Colorado home. Camilla has shared photos in the F1 Ace's lavish home, to the delight of fans, even wearing a plaid shirt of his in one candid snap. The Dominican Republic-born beauty recently ended her eight-month romance with The Bachelor star Tyler Cameron, with a source telling us weekly Camilla broke off the relationship, it was time for her to refocus on her own very lucrative career. More videos 1 2 3 Watch video Del Boy get one over on Boise during a high-stakes card game Watch video Carol Vorderman celebrates graduation of son with special needs Watch video Gillian Anderson stuns as she prepares for the 2021 Emmy Awards Watch video Hailey Bieber rocks white bikini in the rain on Jamaica Vacay Watch video Emma Karin attends 2021 Emmy Awards celebration in London Watch video Josh O'Connor looks suave in a tux at 
at the 2021 Emmys Red Carpet Watch Video Dietitian Reveals What Your Poo Says About Your Health Watch Video Super Vet Noel Fitzpatrick Pays Teary Tribute to His Dog of 14 Years Watch Video Police Disperse Anti-Vaccine Passport Protesters in London Watch Video Iconic Industrial Landmark Tower Demolished in Controlled Explosion Watch Video Caroline Lucas Defends the Actions of Eco-Zealots Who Blocked the M25 Watch Video Revelers Enjoy Last Blast of Heat with Boozy Night Out in Birmingham Lewis also follows the model on Instagram and has been liking her racy photos, however a source told The Sun that Lewis and Camilla are pals, saying, they've been friends for a few years, that's why she's staying at his house and wearing his shirt. Mail Online contacted representatives for the pair for comment at the time. Lewis' most famous ex is Nicole Scherzinger, who he dated on off for eight years until 2015, but the racing driver has been linked to a strong of women since ending their relationship. Hamilton's latest car crash took place on Sunday last week when the British driver left the pit lane on lap 26 of 52 and met Verstappen, who had dropped further back following a slow 11. One second pit stop. The pair headed into turn one side by side before Verstappen drove over the raised curb on turn two, causing his car to fly into the air and land on top of Hamilton. Verstappen was subsequently given a three-place grid penalty and two penalty points. He also received criticism for walking away from Hamilton without checking he was okay. However, Marco believes the narrative surrounding the crash and Verstappen is unjust. He claims Hamilton's team have put on a show to point the finger at the Dutchman. Speaking to the Österreich newspaper, Marco said, it was a normal racing accident. All the stories around it were pulled up by the hair by Mercedes. Verstappen had already got out when Hamilton tried to go back to get out of the gravel. The medical car saw that and drove on. And then a show is put on that poor Hamilton is suddenly injured. Despite exiting his car seemingly unharmed, Hamilton has since revealed we will see a specialist over the next few weeks just to make sure he has fit to race at the Russian Grand Prix. Although some have questioned the motives behind the decision to see a specialist as he was seemingly well enough to attend the Met Gala with Janet Guzman, a model and influencer, who currently boasts one. 9 million Instagram followers and manages an OnlyFans account. Nevertheless, Hamilton said, I will need to see a specialist to make sure I'm good for the next race because my neck is getting tighter and tighter. I have been racing a long, long time, so I am so grateful I am still here. We are taking risks and it is only when you experience something like this that you look at life and see how fragile we all are. The reigning world champion also admitted he was thankful for the car's halo, saying it saved me and my neck. Hamilton said, thank God for the halo which saved me and saved my neck. I feel very fortunate today. I don't think I have ever been hit on the head by a car before. And it is quite a shock for me. If you look at the images, my head is really quite far forward. His rear wheel landed on the halo and the inside part of his tire landed on my head. Ironically, Hamilton was a critic of the halo ahead of its introduction three years ago. The worst looking modification in Formula One history, he said prior to its introduction in 2018. I hope I am given the option of not using it because I want. Marco also acknowledged the importance of the halo, crediting it for ensuring things turned out okay. Even if I was skeptical at first, 
He said, I have to admit just like in the fire accident, the halo was decisive in ensuring that things turned out so well. Nevertheless, Marco has previously referred to Hamilton as a little theatrical, claiming he went overboard on the drama at the Dutch Grand Prix. It was an incredibly tough and fair race. From the first to the last lap there was a hard fight, Red Bull's chief said. I have to compliment not only the Dutch, but also Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton. How they behaved, that's how a race should go. Hamilton tends to be a bit theatrical. However, we were also watching Mercedes tires closely and saw that it became critical with, Valtteri, Botas at the end. On the whole, it was right. We thought after the second stop we could go through with the hard tires without any problems. Hamilton then attacked strongly, which Max parried. Then it was just a matter of driving the race home. Fernando Alonso also hinted at Hamilton's theatrics, saying the Monza crash was not a big deal and that it was an unfortunate racing incident. He also said that crash did not compare to the extremity of their British Grand Prix clash. Alonso said, well they are there, the two champions, and they are always fighting to the limit. It looks like an unfortunate position, with the corner and the curb the car jumps a little, and then they touch. Tire with tire, and the rubber makes a car fly. But it is low speed, you know, they go at 30 or 40 kilometers per hour, there is no danger, there is nothing. So I don't think it was a big deal. At Silverstone it probably was, but this one it was just a racing incident. I think Lewis tried to open up a turn 1 to force Max to cut the corner. Max did not cut the corner, he stayed on the outside, but then it was not possible to do turn 2 on the inside. More videos 1, 2, 3 watch video Del Boy get 1 over on Boise during a high stakes card game watch video Carol Vorderman celebrates graduation of son with special needs watch video Gillian Anderson stuns as she prepares for the 2021 Emmy Awards watch video Hailey Bieber rocks white bikini in the rain on Jamaica vacay watch video Emma Karin attends 2021 Emmy Awards celebration in London watch video Josh O'Connor looks suave in a tux at the 2021 Emmys Red Carpet Watch Video Super Vet Noel Fitzpatrick pays teary tribute to his dog of 14 years Watch Video Celebrities Perform First Group Dance of Strictly Come Dancing 2021 Watch Video Brazilian Football Hulk Reveals Pregnancy News of His Fourth Child Watch Video John White and Johannes Rodebe are Strictly's first male pairing Watch Video M25 Eco Protest Delays Left My Mum Paralyzed From Stroke Says Sun Watch Video Official appears to tamper with election ballots in Vladivostok I think they both. They both did what they had to do. You know, and unfortunately, they touched, because. I saw the replay of the start too, and, Antonio, Giovinazzi and, Charles, Leclerc, they touched, in the same way, and, Lance, Stroll and, Sergio, Perez touched each other in the same way in turn 1 and 2. But they did not touch wheel to wheel, but tire to tire. So the same did not happen. But it is a very typical maneuver, in, turn 1, turn 2, and they have been unlucky, to, touch wheel to wheel, 